Hello everyone, Seth the Duck 2, welcome to another type of video. This time on VM computers. Now, I have done a sort of mod overview showing how to do it from scratch in a way of just like, you know, there's the step by step process and there's this and the other, but I thought I'd do a more in depth one just in case. Um, and I have experimented with actually putting. Um, getting an OS working and this, that, and the other OS are working. So uh, after experimenting with it yesterday, I thought I'd actually try and do a proper, this is how it works, this is all the stuff you need sort of video covering it. So a kind of proper tutorial in a way from scratch to a degree. So yeah, the things you need is pretty much VirtualBox. You need specifically version 6.1 or higher. Um, it has to be a 6.1 sort of version. Um, so yeah, you pretty much just go to the downloads for that, and then download the specific one that you need, and you'll be perfectly fine. Um, yeah, so for whichever platform sort of thing there. Uh, otherwise, if you haven't done mods before, and you're interested in a mod like this, uh, you'll need Java. So if you use Windows and get the appropriate version of that, um, Linux or Mac or otherwise, then obviously just get Java, install it, and you'll be fine. Um, pretty much just double click, do the sort of wizard sort of stuff, and just pretty much follow the steps there. Um, obviously the same with this, just get what you need, follow the steps, and you'll be fine. Otherwise, since it uses Fabric specifically, there's no Forge version or anything, um, you will need, obviously, Fabric Installer. Now, I'm going to be using MultiMC, but uh, I do have tutorials covering both the vanilla launcher of how to install Fabric Loader for pretty much either. So if you want to watch either of those for whichever version, 114, 115, 116, they'll pretty much be covering exactly the same, regardless of which version you watch, except that uh, the only difference will be pretty much my 116 um, version has better audio somewhat um, since I've been trying to balance it out as much as possible but uh, yeah if you watch any of them then you'll pretty much get an idea of it'll work the exact same whether you watch the 116 to uh, the 116 one or the 115 one you install it exactly the same way you get the installer you pretty much double click it, you do this and the other, you'll be fine, at least for the vanilla one. When it comes to MultiMC of course, you pretty much just obviously install MultiMC if you have already, then you can skip that part, you create a new instance, you go 1.15.2, you select it and you're happy with it, and then from there you just edit the instance, install Fabric, which I've already done, and then get the loader version and be fine. You can have the latest and it doesn't matter. Unlike with Forge, where obviously you need to get a specific 115.2 version, with Fabric you can get any version of the loader and it'll be pretty good, even if it's the latest. So once you've done that, uh, obviously you want the different mods, and uh, another thing obviously that is important is Fabric API, which obviously makes a lot of mods work. Um, a lot of mods use certain code from it, so it has to get that. Uh, the only other thing I haven't gotten yet is technically the computers itself slink. Because I forgot to do that. So do that, I think is the correct link. Yep. And obviously you can get the version for it here. Now I have seen other videos of people doing this sort of thing where you can get it from GitHub, but uh, the one on CurseForge is the most up to date as far as I can tell. Um, so best to check this one, I think, or well, you can check the GitHub version, which is probably on the source here, I'm pretty sure. And you can check the releases. Um, okay, maybe it's just because today is the most recent one, I think. That might be why. Yeah, okay, so either one's fine, it's just that this is, I just got the most recent one yesterday. So fair enough, so just download that. And other mods I'll be using will be mod menu and roughly enough items, but they're not obviously important. It's just easier to tell with a mod list or access configs, or just a few recipes if I need to. But uh, yeah, so once you've done that and got the setup working, uh, obviously just 
load up the actual profile accordingly and uh, you'll be greeted with this setup process which will say you need to install VirtualBox which obviously if you've done everything correctly you'll be good to go you don't have to worry um, so you install VirtualBox do its thing and that'll be fine so we'll move on since we've already done that um, next you have the installation directory part now sometimes it can fill it in as far as I've heard but uh, otherwise I've already done this in testing environment one, but uh, I've already got the link for it here. So I'm just going to copy that. Yours might be located elsewhere if you have changed where it's supposed to be located, um, but maybe your default is like that. So that's fine. Let me just put this in here and we'll go next. And this is auto filled already, which is obviously where I've installed the actual uh, instance, which I may change that if it's no okay so that's already filled that in there for that one which is called this compared to my other one which is called that so that's fine so if that auto fills just hit next but if you do need to change it just change this part here to whatever this is called so if yours is called exactly the same as mine then go with that but if you have it called something else then definitely change this specific aspect only the rest should be perfectly fine because it's just looking for that folder specifically so yeah just complete the path basically um how far does that go yeah okay so as far as that yep uh, and then we have the keybinds which is pretty much the way of you getting in and out of the computers in the mod so i don't want to say it's exactly the same as control delete or anything but it's kind of just like a a key combination of you press the following three either at the same time or just in order or so and then it'll pretty much take you out of the computer so you right click to enter it and you press any of these three which you can obviously rebind and then you'll be exiting it it's i'm stuck in the computer mode sort of thing uh, and now we have the ram which we can set so this is just displaying my default because um, i only have eight gigs of ram on this pc so yeah i'm gonna not leave it at the default because that's not a good idea um let's see do i want to probably go with half i'd probably say i'll go half and the video ram i can only go to 256 if i remember correctly yeah 256 is the maximum there um, but anything higher here should be pretty much up to whatever ram you actually have in your system so i'm gonna go with half my system because that seems the most relevant um, so, yeah. And that'll pretty much just get everything ready. Um, but yeah. So, but yeah, as far as I can tell, it pretty much just allows you to do VirtualBox like OS virtualization and pretty much allows you to run Windows or Linux or Mac or whatever sort of OS you're using inside minecraft of course so yeah it's kind of like a mix of things i'll take the music off just in case it's on the title screen all throughout because i'm not really a fan of it i'll just change the according settings as well because i do this every time i create a new instance i just have to do it so i'll just do that real quick um but yeah so the following mods we're good to go that's fine yeah, there's nothing I can tweak there. So, so just go to our new world and we'll be fine. And we'll go into creative. But I'll obviously be showing this from survival survival like perspective. So that's fine. 